level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, and both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high-flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did, and just keeping it clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even at the highest level. Job well done by both sides. So for the 49ers...
It's week three of the 2022 season. And coming up, it's the 49ers veteran running back. He did something we never thought we'd see. A game with double-digit touchdowns. It's the 49ers and the Broncos on Sunday night. We find ourselves at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and one side, Charles Davis. And, Charles, we look at this Bronco team. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good off. The Niners offense set to go to work 2-0 on the young season. And the one we'll be watching is this man at running back. from scrimmage and we talked earlier in those first couple of weeks about how he fits in with this new offense he's insisted he could be the lead guy he just needs the carries to prove it and he's certainly gotten some looks here early and he's taking advantage and they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45 that good for 22 and a first down well this go, is the reigning nfc offensive player of the week runs like that might get him another award yeah, thunderbolt right out of the gate huh how about that hitting the defense hard early and of course carrying the momentum from last week into this week's game these are his numbers from last week's contest and charles how do you think he ran the football i thought he definitely had his moments i did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better and i'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week on second down now, it's Brock, and he gets it down to the 32. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. The Niners at 2-0 here to begin the season. They come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. 52 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. They'll keep it on the ground. Brock, seven yards there and a first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, go, doesn't it? Go. You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, go you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. He's down inside the 10 to the 8, and it comes on a gain of 8. And we're going to stop play here at least momentarily. It looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. A great play there. With touchdown number 23 here on the year. And the 49ers will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Well, Charles, clearly they wanted to send a message there and impose it. On a drive. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. They have to be thrilled with that first here drive. They got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice in meetings talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to here stop go, go, the ground go. game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. 
A big play there for the Niners. 63 yards. Here we go, here we go. They'll run on first down. It's Brock, and the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Go. Up the middle they go. Brock, and he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's a good one. It'll go. It's no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Third and goal at the four-yard line. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Here we go, here we go. They'll try and run for it. And across the goal line, into the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. A great effort there with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. So here are the Niners to take over on offense. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. Here we go. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And some room to work. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49 touchdown. A big play there. Doing it again with his third touchdown here in the opening quarter. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. San Francisco's offense returns to the field. Here we go, here we go, here we go. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And some room to run now. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Better than a 30-yard gain as we wind down towards 30 seconds left in the corner. Go, so the big play moves him all the way across go midfield. Ahead, it's first and 10 from the 45. Ten. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Brock. And some room to maneuver. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Oh, Touchdowns, unbelievable. And the Niners go up by two touchdowns. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. The offense running out, and they are charged up, ready to go after reaching the end zone on their last drive. And normally I'd warn against getting complacent just because they scored the last time out. But I don't think there's any worries with this group right now. This is a hungry group, and they want to keep building off of their last drive. Now they just want the officials to hurry up and place the ball so they can snap it and get back to work. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. He's trying to parlay that great performance last week, NFC Offensive Player of the Week in Week 2, into a great performance in Week 3. And the way he was able to do it last week, he started off doing it again this week. Energy, the way he comes off the line of scrimmage, attacks the defense, sets him back on their heels, and he finds openings as a result. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up the first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. 
taking a shot for Samuel. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Here we go, here we go. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Now a handoff up the middle. Brock and some space here. The big man get the oxygen tank ready. Touchdown, 49ers. A great effort there. 78 yards. And the 49ers have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are. But this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. And the 49ers getting set to trot out there. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Here we go. Cut. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission. Here we go, here we go, And the defense is lucky. That play only picked up five yards. On second down, it's Brock. Room here to run. Does the big boy have the juice? The 20. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. A big play there, 75 yards. And the Niners are able to add on to their first half lead. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more impressive. They certainly do, and let's face it, it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring. This team designs things well and executes even better. And here, it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone. That's how they get more. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Uh, give them credit for trying, but there's no fooling the defense with that call. They were reading run, and they set up to stop the run, and then executed. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. On first down, Brock. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain. Second down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. They run the counter. It's Brock. And he's got Rome. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. This is a little bit like baseball here. Strong up the middle. Both sides want to be that. In this case, the offense ends up winning the ultimate battle. And those big runs between the tackles, that's a little deflating for a defense, isn't it? It really is because that's where your strength's supposed to be. You're supposed to be in a spot where they can't make that yardage there. You're supposed to send them outside. Not in this case. On second down now, it's Brock. 
Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. That good for 22 and a first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are hey, handling on, their on, business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Niners have got it on cruise control. And he was excellent on that. Now the 49ers settling in for their next drive. And now consider the lead. The question is how much is good enough? Are you going for more? Here we go, here we go, here we go. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Ben, let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Second and eight. 65, 65. 21, 21. And... To throw, it's Garoppolo. Flushed out right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. So we've reached halftime in a wild, and we will skip. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. Well, it's hard to imagine the first half going any better for them, CD. And now here's they begin their first series of the second here half. Here we go, here we go, here we hey, go. They score here. This one, it's pretty much out of reach. We honestly might already be at that point, Parker, because this team, they were dominant in the first half, continue to be dominant now. And I think they're viewing this as a put-away drive on their way to a lopsided victory. Here we go, here we go. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. Brock. They find some open field here. And he'll be out of bounds near the 30. In fact, right on the 30. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. Up the middle they go. It's Brock, and he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Good gain on first, has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Now a handoff up the middle. Brock, and he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Second and inches is oftentimes here we go, here we an go. invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield right. because he feels like he can come back on third right. down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. They'll run on first down. 
It's Brock, and he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. On second down, it's Brock, and he's got some space here. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. Up the middle they go. Brock. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down inside the 15. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Here we go, here we go. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Brock, and for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. The veteran Jamie Collins there on the tackle. Here we go. Second and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Brock, and across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Taking it in from 14 yards out. And the 49ers go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. Boy, another score. This lead gets even bigger. And Charles, we haven't even hit the fourth quarter yet. Well, forget the deficit, right? They're really not going to cut into that a heck of a lot. But how can they get out of here with some dignity? The 49ers offense now, they work their way back onto the field.
Chad. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Here we go, here we go, here we go. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Four yards. They'll keep it on the ground. Brock, and he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Here we go, here we go. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down. It's Brock, and he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. This offense, number one in the NFL in picking up first downs in the run game, got him another one there. A really good stat to lead the league in, isn't it? Because if you keep picking up first downs, sustain.